and seated on a block. Anybody else need a block? Start to soften the eyes, either look forward and take the eyes out of focus, or we'll close the eyes entirely. The spine is both alert and relaxed. Imagine putting one of our cork blocks, they're pretty heavy, on the top of your head. Press that cork block up toward the ceiling, get taller. Lower back lifts as well. Lengthen through the whole spine. Roll the shoulders down and back. Start with an exhalation. Draw the navel down to the spine. Expel all the air. Then inhale, big and deep. Let the breath rise as high as the chest. And then exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Breathe even deeper this time. Supercharge the lungs. When you think you're done, pack it in more. Suck up more air. Bring it in. And then exhale all the way. Chest out. Ribs in. Belly draws down. Three more like that. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale all the way. When you think you're done, all the navel to the spine, squeeze the breath out. And take the hands, grab a hold of one of your shin bones. Lock the arms out. Arms start going straight. And you're going to use the arms for leverage. Round the spine back like cat pose, and on the inhale, draw the chest forward, arch the spine. Exhale, round the side, draw the navel back, arms grip down into the shin bone, inhale forward, arm bones back. Exhale, keep moving. Feel the shape of your spine, inhale, and then let's pick up the pace. Inhale, exhale. Do you want 10 more? Stronger breath. Inhale deep, in through the nose, out through the nose. Last five, stronger breath. Inhale, pick up the pace right at the end. Inhale deep, hold the breath. Exhale, let it go. Walk it forward, forward, forward. Inhale, rise back up. Switch the ankle that's in the front, and then walk it forward again. Forward fold. Walk the hands over to the right. Left hand on top of the left wrist. Stretch long through the left side of the body, through the ribs, through the hip. Inhale to center. Walk over to the left, breathe into the right side body, ground down through the hip, open through the shoulder, inhale to center, all the way up. Take the block out, come onto the sit bones, and bony parts of the butt in the back, feet in front. Draw the feet in, knees in close to the chest, and then drag your feet in, and then lift them up. Flex the toes, spread the toes. Lift the chest, lift the low back, just like we did in our seated breathing exercise. Arms come forward, palms charge toward the mirror. Inhale. Ankles draw together, knees toward the center. Right ankle on top of the left, fingertips to the floor, draw the knees up higher. Thunderbolt pose. Back into half boat pose. Stretch the fingertips forward. 
Left ankle on top of the right, fingertips to the floor, draw the knees up closer to the chest. Fingertips to the floor here is not cheating, it's part of the pose. Uncross the ankles, draw the ankles together. Breathe, you could stay right here, you wanna go for more, start to kick it forward, upper body leans back. Keep lifted, breathe for two. Big breath in to charge it up. Left ankle on top of right, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right wrist, pigeon pose. Right foot turns out. Take your time setting up pigeon. And let's stay lifted in the pigeon. Yeah, bring your knee forward a bit, right up here. There you go. Right hand out to the side, right under the shoulder so it's a calm, keeps you lifted. Left hand reaches long. Grip into the floor like you're trying to open up a sliding glass door that really needs new rollers. Spread the toes in the back, look over the right shoulder. Breathe into the hip flexor. You feel that little stretch on the front of the left hip. Bring your awareness there. Inhale back to center, downward facing dog. Take your time. Root down into hands, spread your fingers. Take the feet about hip width apart. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. A few breaths in dog, press the thighs back. Give this a try, lift the heels up high. As high as they'll go, you feel the hips rise up. Now strengthen the legs, quadriceps, hamstrings, every bit of the thigh you can get a hold of. And then slowly bring the heels back down, but keep the legs strong, the hips high. Breathe, press the balls of the feet back toward the back of the room. Two more breaths, longer arm bones. Breathe nice, broaden, press it back, there we go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left wrist. Left foot turns out, pigeon pose. Take your time setting up. Left hand under the shoulder, and right hand reaches long across the body, getting a nice little twist to start. Spread the toes in the back, reach the toes back. Give me a little pull with this hand, and I'll pull this over. Kind of grip it into the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you're trying to drag. Yep, that's it. I'll give you a little pull here. Breathe. Back to center, downward facing dog. Take your time, plant down into the palms, spread your fingers, press the thighs back. Let's do it again, heels up high, lift them up. As you lift them up, it makes it a little easier to engage quadriceps, hamstrings, strengthen them, the whole thigh, and then slowly bring the heels back toward the floor. Feel the strength of the legs, press the balls of the feet back. Good, spread your fingers, there you go, and root down. As you press your feet back, lengthen the arm bones a little more. Exhale, release the knees to the floor. Take the knees a little behind the hips. So they're a little out of stack. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Moving slow, four more of those. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, bring it forward. Knee up high on the shoulder if you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward, hug to center. Got two more, work it. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back, arm bones strong. Last one, inhale, right leg back. Exhale, bring it into the shoulder and pause. Oop, got you there. Bringing it forward, bring it up higher if you can. Squeeze to center, you're good. Back to tabletop, knee to the floor. Going right into the other side. Spread the fingers, root down. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hug it in. Looking good. Inhale, four more. Exhale, bring it to center. Bring it back. Exhale. Last two. One more. Knee to the floor. Turn your fingers out. 
<clears throat> some cat and cow. Inhale, exhale. Root down into the fingers, down into the hands. Big breaths in, big breaths out. Turn the fingers back forward, downward facing dog. You can always come back to the exercise we just did on the knees if it gets to be too much. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, hung forward. Inhale, stretch it back. Knee to nose, round the spine, smooch the knee if you can, give it a kiss. Inhale, stretch it up. Right knee, opposite elbow, take it to the left. Take a pause, arm bones strong. Inhale, back up, right leg up to the sky. Back to the center, exhale, round the spine. Inhale, reach it up. Knee to the op it's the same side elbow, right side. Pause here. Breathe, establish the pose. Hug it up higher. Squeeze to center. Downward dog, both feet to the floor. Take a breath. You can child's pose anytime. You can go back to the knees and do the same thing with the leg. Inhale, left leg up. Bring it up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hug it forward. Let's slow it down. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, bring it to center. No rush, no emergency. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale to the opposite side, turn the hip, back leg strong. Inhale, lift it up. Coming back to the center, smooch the knee, hello. Bring it up, inhale. Exhale, same side. Pause here, bring it to center, up higher if you can. Downward facing, dog both feet to the floor. Inhale, forward to your belly. Take a breath, inhale deep, exhale fully, palms beside the hips, palms face down, coming into Salambhasana, locust pose, inhale, lift up, head up, chest up, arms up, legs up, palms face down toward the floor, and then get the arms up as high as they can go, breathe, draw the belly away from the floor. Legs strong, top of the sternum to the chin, breathe. You got three more breaths here. Find length rather than height. Stretch, lengthen, reach the toes back, breathe. Exhale all the way down, let it go. Two breaths, inhale in the low back. And exhale. Inhale, elbows underneath the shoulders. Come in for Sphinx Pose. Look at your shoulders. You need to make a direct line from the shoulder down to the elbow. Inhale, lift the chest. A couple breaths. Elbows forward so you're in Sphinx. There you go. Awesome. All right, a couple butter than chaturangas. On the exhale, draw the ribs in. Belly in. Come up onto the knees. All right, that's halfway here. Breathe. Lower belly in, butt up. Feel that's definitely not nothing here. And you can come back to halfway point at any time. Hang out right here. There's plenty of work to be done. Slowly thighs and hips back down, ribs in, belly to the floor. All right. Second set, we're going to go all the way, but you can stop at halfway. Exhale, ribs in, belly in, knee on to the knees. You want to go further, tuck the toes, balls of the feet to the floor. Imagine puffing up and broadening the low back. Hip points up. Elbows broaden, ankles hug the center. Squeeze the buns, everything working, bones to skin, fingertips right down to your toes. You've got this, two more breaths. Inhale, lower belly in. Arm bones strong, push down into the forearms. Exhale, knees and thighs, hips and belly. Inhale, exhale, press it back, downward facing dog, take your time.
Inhale, right leg up. Exhale between the hands. Left knee to the floor, low lunge. Lift the heart, fingertips to the ceiling. Right foot to the floor. Exhale, step forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Take your time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. All the way up, fingers to the ceiling. Urdhva Hastasana. Right back into fold. Hinge at the hips. Press the thighs back. Inhale, half lift. Big breath. Exhale, fold. Walk or step back. I'm sorry, don't do that. Stay there. <laughs> right foot back. Right knee to the floor. I forgot where I was. Inhale, lift the heart. Stretch it up. Reach through the fingers. All the way up. Exhale, left foot steps back. Plank pose. Pause and plank. One breath. Arm bones back, legs strong, hug the heels to center, arm bones back, exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Take a breath, maybe two, inhale, left leg up, exhale between the hands, right knee to the floor, inhale, lift the heart, big breath, exhale, step forward, Uttanasana, take your time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, all the way up, fingers to the ceiling, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a pause, close the eyes, or look at your fingertips. Draw your awareness to your breath. Next to exhale, open the eyes, release the hands, going for flow. Inhale, stretch it up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg back. Left knee to the floor. Inhale, lift the heart. Big breath in. Exhale, step it back. Right foot to the floor or right foot back. Plank pose. Slide the arm bones back. Breathe. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward, right knee to the floor, right forearm to the floor. Take a breath here. We're setting up for side forearm plank. Right foot slides back, stack the hips, left hand comes off the floor. You can always have the top leg to the floor as a kickstand. Bottom knee can stay to the floor just like we started. Breathe. We've got about 20 more seconds here. Full 30 seconds. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the nose, push down into the forearm. Focus on bringing the lower waistline high. Bring it up. Breathe. Squeeze the ankles. Press down into the bottom leg. You've got this. Five more seconds. Belly in. Arm bones strong. Squeeze the ankles together. Flop or plop. Come on out. Aren't we glad we get two times at least to do that? We got a left arm, left side, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale forward, left knee to the floor, left forearm to the floor. That's your present. You gotta take a moment here and just enjoy it. If you turn the left hand in a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier to balance. We're really focusing on strength right now. Push down into the left forearm, put your palm down too. Yeah, low grip into that. Step it back. Bottom leg steps in, hips point stack over one another, and breathe, side forearm plank. The bottom knee can stay to the floor the whole time. The top leg can step forward as a kickstand. Ankles strong, bones to skin, fingertips down to your toes. Working, we're already 10 seconds in. Inhale, any variations of the legs you wanna go for, breathe. Last 10 seconds, lower waistline away from the floor. Push down into the forearm, soften your face. Would it scare a small child in this moment? Take a breath, probably. Inhale, smile, exhale all the way down, looking good. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale between the hands. Rise up, high lunge, arms up, take your time. If it gets to be really unsteady, take the feet a little wider. Rather than being on one train track, have the right leg be on the one train track and the left leg be on the other. We're hinging at the hips now. 
exhale, heart forward, draping forward. Inhale from the back of the heart, rise up. All right, that's the first action. The second action is you straighten the leg. As you come forward, we straighten the leg. As you come back up, you bend the knee. Yeah, five more, let's go. Exhale, inhale, and by let's go, I mean you do it. Exhale forward, looking good. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the heart. We've got three more. Exhale, straighten through the front leg, push down into the foot, balance in the foot. Inhale, lift up. We've got two more. Exhale as you come forward. Pay attention to your front foot. Can you find balance left to right? Inhale. Here we go. Last one. Exhale forward. Take a breath. Push down into the balls of the foot, down into the heel, left and right. Inhale from the back of the heart. Downward facing dog. Take your time. Take a breath, make it two, it's better. Come in the other side, inhale, left leg up. Step between the hands, rise up, high lunge. No rush, take your time, root down, back leg strong. We got six because we did an extra one for practice on the other side. Exhale, straighten the leg, bring it forward. And then inhale from the back of the heart, hinge at the hips, bend the knee. Five more, exhale, moving slow like moving through molasses. Exhale, forward. <sighs> Inhale, lift, bend the knee. Good, three more, you've got this. Exhale, forward, drape it forward. Inhale, lift. Two more, exhale, hinge at the hip. Press down into the bottom foot. Inhale, lift up, last two. Exhale, forward, press down into foot. Left and right, front to back, inhale. Here we go, last time, exhale forward, take a pause here, breathe, find balance in the feet, all six points of the left foot and the right, inhale for the back of the heart, rise up, downward dog. You wanna flow, flow, move through chaturanga. We're gonna an overall balanced practice today, doing a little bit of everything. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bring it back down, because it changed my mind. Walk or hop floor, forward, Uttanasana. Just seeing if you're on your toes today. Inhale, half lift and lengthen. You are. Exhale, bring it down. All the way up, fingers to the ceiling, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring the feet close together, heels and toes touch. Coming into palm tree, we don't do this much. Coming up onto the balls of the feet. You are on your toes now. Arms come back. Breathe. Arms open like the fingertips are going to touch behind you. This is great for ankle strength. So if this is real unstable, you should do this one more often. Breathe, heels up, high legs strong. On your exhale, sink the hips down, booty back. Utkantasana. Get the heels down now. Yep. Find balance in the feet. Hands to heart center. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale like you're going for your twist, but you're not going to touch. And then bring it back to center. Inhale. We've got four more like that. Exhale, left elbow toward the right knee. Inhale, bring it back to center. Looking good. Three more that side. Exhale. Inhale, center. Going to the right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Slow it down. I keep getting them. I'm going to move them so you don't step on, don't step on them. It's okay. I just don't want to break them. Last time, inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Make contact. Press into the outside of the leg. Take your twist. Breathe, butt down, butt back. Lengthen the crown of the head up. Back to center, inhale, arms up, big breath. Exhale, forward fold, couple breaths. Ooh. Let the head hang heavy, catch your breath. I know it's intense. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Back of that body, soft. The heels and toes aren't touching, bring them back together. Sink the hips, bend the knees, Utkantasana, chair pose. Breathe, get the butt down low, get it back. Exhale, hands to heart center. Slow down, take a breath, inhale. Go into the left, unless you went every other, then you're gonna go every other. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale, hug the knees to center. We got three more, exhale, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna rest any time. Inhale, last one. Exhale, take, make contact on the left. 
Press the palms in toward the heart center. Breathe, hug the knees to center, butt down, butt back. Inhale, center, arms reach up, big breath. Exhale, forward fold. Moving into dog, you wanna try to wrong, but it's yours, a float, a float back. Take your time. Inhale, forward to your belly. Bring the palms underneath of the shoulders. Elbows wing back for baby cobra pose. No weight in the hands. Inhale, lift up. Using the power of the low spine. Take a breath. Exhale, bring it back down. We got two more like that. Inhale, elbows back, arm bones up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, last time. Breathe, sternum to the chin, bring it up as high as your low spine will let you bring it up. Exhale all the way down. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Inhale, right leg up. Exhale between the hands. Rise up, high lunge. Establish the pose, back leg strong. Hands to heart center. We're just gonna do three. We've already done this, so we've established this whole side core action. So work it. Using your side body, take yourself into the twist, but don't make contact. Inhale, back into center. Just using your side core. Exhale, take your twist. Feel the side body activate and hold you there. Back to center on the inhale. This is our last one. Exhale, go for the twist. Feel the abdominals draw in and then make contact. Keep that engagement and go for your twist. Back leg strong, lift it away from the floor. Root down into the toe, squeeze the hips to center. Keep breathing, back leg strong, lift it away from the floor. Going for two more breaths. Root down into the feet, hug the heels to center, draw the hand toward the heart. Inhale back to center, plank pose, right foot steps back. Take a breath, one breath, downward facing dog. Abho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left leg up. I meant right leg up. Sorry, switch it sides. Right leg. Right knee to right elbow. And then right knee to right wrist. Pigeon pose. Take your time. Melt it. You want to go forward and hang out there. Left or right, go where it feels good. If you're not getting the intensity you're looking for, we're looking for a stretch out here in the butt and the outside of the thigh. If you're not finding that, please let me know. Come work with me. Bring the palms under the shoulders, slowly rise, find downward facing dog or tabletop. Inhale forward to your belly, all the way down. Bring the palms underneath the shoulders. Coming in for cobra pose, real cobra this time. Strengthen the legs, push into your palms, rise up. Elbows stay soft, arm bones roll back. And just roll this away from your ears here. And breathe, couple breaths. Legs strong. Roll this down and back, good. Lengthen the neck, rise up. Crown of the head toward the ceiling, like there's a little string. We're pulling you up like a little puppet. Exhale all the way down. Downward facing dog. Take the feet back a little bit, just a smidge, even if it's just an inch or millimeter. 
And then feel the length of your spine. Try to keep your hands where you had them. And push down into hands length and the arms. Feel the length of your spine. And a little traction. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee toward the elbow, and then slide it right to the wrist, pigeon pose. Surprise. Inhale, exhale, draw the heart closer to the shins, gonna take you deeper. If you're wanting more intensity from this one, let me know. Two more breaths, make them big, make them deep, make them long. Bring the palms under the shoulders. Rise up tabletop, some little cat, little cow. Come up onto the knees, reach out and grab one of your blocks. Put your block between your thighs. We're going for camel pose, Ustrasana. This may be where you stay, right here. This is pretty good. Pushing the hips forward, lifting the sternum, stabilizing through the neck. If you get close enough in the back where you can reach behind and put your hand down to the foot, you can put one down. Take a few breaths and then switch, or you can put both feet, both hands back onto the ankles. Use the block between the thighs, and I'll squeeze that block. Hug it in. Lower belly draws in, hip points forward, hip points lift toward the chest. Breathe for two. Sternum toward the chin. Squeeze your block at this point. Go ahead and crush the block. Inhale, and then go deeper to come out. More back bend to rise up slowly. Avoid the temptation to round into child's pose. We're gonna go for one more. You're warm, you're ready for this. Your spine was made to do this. Bring your hands to your hip points. As we come in this time, I want you to focus a little bit more on having the hip points like this. So lifting the hip points to the chest or hips to nips. Slowly rise. Hip points forward, push the hips forward. Lift the sternum toward the chin. Keep going deeper into your back bend. Hands maybe reach behind and grab the feet. Strong lower belly and hips to nips now. Squeeze your block. Breathe, sternum to the chin. Bring the manubrium up. Last couple breaths. Soften your face. Inhale, smile if you can. It makes it a little bit better. Bring it up. Right? And if you get nauseated, it gets to be really weird. That's good. Right? That's, that's just, it's stimulating your nervous system. That's not a, necessarily a bad thing. All right, downward dog. And take the feet back a smidge. So you get a nice long length. You can keep the block there, you can get rid of it. It great, does good things there too. Lengthen the spine, root down into your hands, press the thighs back. Shake the head, no. Nod the head, yes. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale between the hands. There the block's got to go now. Rise up. Warrior two. Yeah, we're done with pigeon for now. All the way up. Left heel to the floor, but why? We could do more pigeon. Take a breath, and then look down at your foot. 
Right? It's your right foot, your front foot. Look and see, is it facing forward? Is the center of your ankle lined up with the second toe? And if it's not, make a change. And look back at your back foot. Is it grounded down, parallel with the back of the mat? Breathe. And then check in with your front knee. Is it facing the same direction as your toes? If those things aren't happening, those are the most important things that need to happen. Breathe. Inhale. Straighten the front leg. Right foot turns in. Facing the bathroom door, the painting door. Interlace the grip at the low back. Check in with the feet. They're parallel to the sides of the mat. Root down like warrior two. And then pull the knuckles straight down. That's going to pull the shoulders away from the ears. And from deep within the shoulder, pull the hands apart. Feel that on the outside of the arms. Inhale. On your exhale, forward fold. Exhale. Let the arms go above the head. Let gravity and time take you deeper. Open through the shoulders. Legs strong. Hug heels to center line. Breathe. So look over at the mirror for a second. You see how far back your butt is? You want to bring it forward so it's more in line with your ankles. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Unbind the arms. Take the left hand toward the right toes. Ankle, shin, some piece of real estate. Right hand to the hip, or right hand to the ceiling. Either one works. Take your twist. As you go for your twist, focus on your feet. Rip down into the feet, hug the heels to center line. And notice how that lets you go maybe a little different, maybe a little deeper. Legs strong, loop down into the feet, inhale back into center. Take a breath, puff up the chest, lift the back. I call this gorilla pose, because you look over to the side, kind of look like a gorilla. Take a breath, lengthen the spine, draw the belly in, crown of the head stretches forward, right? and you can go onto your fist, you feel more like a gorilla. Come in the other side, right hand toward the left toes. Left ankle, shin bone, and left hand to hip or up to the sky. Legs strong. See if you can be a little stronger right here. Yeah, you're doing good. You can also take your, try this, put your hand on the block instead of the ankle. Yeah, that might be a little better for you. Breathe. Legs strong, hug to center, root down into your feet. Press your thighs back. We're here, last breath. Inhale. Back to center, plant the palms. If bakasana is part of your practice, go from not so wide to not quite uttanasana. Elbows in, think I haven't done enough chaturanga here today because we really haven't. And then bring the knees onto the shelf. Maybe the feet come up. Breathe. All right, you got a couple more breaths. If it's not happening, that's okay too. Know that hot yoga doesn't necessarily make arm balances easier. Back to wide leg, plant it. Downward facing dog, take your time. Breathe. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. Kind of like pigeon. So I'm going to encourage um, you guys to try out 90-90. Okay? It's, a, it's a pigeon alternative. So your legs come in, your back leg bends in, it makes a 90 degree, just like your front leg. Whoosh, whoosh, out to the side. This is a great place to come if the knee ever bothers you in pigeon, or like we're trying to do, we're getting ready to do the quadricep, and that is not accessible for everybody in pigeon pose but it is here. So you can always go back to pigeon, but we're gonna reach behind, grab a hold of the ankle, bend the heel into the buttocks, and for a lot of us, that's gonna give us a lot of stretch, and for some of us, it's not gonna give you anything. It's okay. To get a little more, you lean out to the side, or you come down on your forearm. If that's still not enough, draw your knee back a little bit, you'll get something there. Yeah. 
Even if 90-90 is not your pose, this is a great quadricep opener. Heel into buttocks. The more you lean to the side, the more the knee comes back away from you, the more intense you'll get it. We all getting it? Super. Inhale in the back to the breath. We've got three breaths here. Inhale, out the mouth on the exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, last time. Exhale, slowly release the back leg. Let this keep the weight onto the outside hip, swing the left leg around. We're gonna go for double pigeon. Left ankle on top of the right knee. The most important part is that the bottom leg, that's the right leg, it's parallel to the pelvis. Right? It might make it up on the knee, might be down here, might be somewhere back here. Left hand out to the side, right arm up and over. Reach to the fingertips. And if you've got the flexibility, you can come down onto the forearm. Reach a little more through the ring finger. Find extension. Feel that pull all the way through the side body. Three more breaths. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. We took a pretty complete tour of the body today. Well-balanced practice. Last breath here. Stretching the side body, doing poses like this, one of the fastest ways to improve posture. Inhale, back to center. As you bring it in and bring the arm down, feel what you feel in the area. You feel some heat, maybe some cooling. Right? Feel that rebound. I think it's pretty dramatic. But if you skip it and don't pay attention, you don't even notice. Slip the legs off, untangle them. Maybe a little windshield wiper side to side. and then left leg forward. We're doing 90-90. Right leg back, right knee out to the side. Take your time. You can look and peek over here to see what it looks like. So I've got 90 in the front and 90 degrees in the back. I didn't know you were going to have to do geometry today. Take a breath. And you're reaching behind, grab your ankle, draw it in. And for some of us, that's great. And you just hang out right there. For some of us, we need to lean. And for others, we need to bring it back and lean. If you're not getting it, let me know. As you come in, soften your jaw. Relax your face, your tongue. There we go. And breathe deeply down into your hips. Bring the breath where you feel it. And let the sensations of your thigh and draw you deeper into your practice. Three breaths. Last one, inhale through the nose, and exhale out through the mouth. And slowly release the right leg. Swing the right leg around all the way to the front. And right here, for a lot of people, this is gonna be a stretch. Mm -hmm. Taking it up to the ankle is gonna be that little bit more. Bottom leg is parallel to the pelvis. Inhale, left arm up, right hand out to the side. Then reach along, all the way through the fingertips. Roll the left shoulder back, and breathe.
two more breaths. Reach. Lengthen. Inhale back to center. Unwind the legs. Last chance for dog, for vinyasa. If it's calling for you. We're making our way to Chata, or down to Shavasana now, so not Chaturanga. It's up to you. Freudian slip, right? Take a breath. And then it's time to rest. It's the best part of class. It's what we all came for. Shavasana. All the way back, all the way down. Yeah. Soften down. Allow yourself to let go. Take the arms and arms wide. Take the legs wider than you normally would. Make way, make space. Roll the head once to the right, and once to the left, and back to center, lying neutral. I'm gonna take some time in stillness and in silence, I'll let you know when the time is up. For now, rest, relax, and let go.
deep in the breath. Slowly bring the awareness back. Making the toes and the fingers. Bringing the life back to the body. Take your time, find a big wake up stretch. meeting on your side in fetal pose. <clears throat> Om Sahanam Vavatu Sahanam Bunaktu Sahaviryam Gravahavahai Tejas vinam vati tamastu ma vidyashavahai om shanti 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 relaxed, slowly find your way to a comfortable seat. We bring the hands to heart center. Bow the head to the heart. We bow the head to the heart in yoga in remembrance a daily reminder to each of us what we're here to do. You are more than meets the eye, more than the reflection you see in the mirror, more than the beating muscle you feel deep down in the chest. You're far more than the fluctuations of your own mind and emotions. Thanks for sharing your breath, your yoga. Namaste.